This is my second video on physics equations for BTEC Applied Science and it's all about the wave equation. Okay, probably the most important equation you will definitely have to use it, the wave equation. Okay, the wave equation V equals F lambda. And uh, there's a few of these equations, excuse me. <coughs> there's a few of these equations that we can put in a triangle. And this is one of them. I don't like triangles personally because you can only use a triangle if there's three things. And you'll see for most of them that there isn't three things. But anyway, V equals F lambda. V, F, lambda in a triangle, the wave equation. Here's an example. Light from a laser has a wavelength of 630 nanometers. That little n isn't a typo, it's meant to be there. Nanometers, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Calculate the frequency of the light. Okay, uh, so there's my triangle V equals F lambda. So F equals V over lambda. Note that for electromagnetic waves, for light, we use the symbol C. C is the speed of light 3 times 10 to the 8. So my equation becomes 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 630 times 10 to the minus 9, because I remember that nano is 10 to the minus 9. And I work it out on my calculator, I get 4.8 times 10 to the 14 hertz. I don't write down 4.8176213821818. I write 4.8 because I know that one decimal place is enough. And so 4.8 times 10 to the 14 hertz. I don't forget the units and that's the answer. Okay, here's one for you to do. Have a read. I'll show you the answer in a few seconds. And the answer is this. Okay, so this time we're working out the wavelength. Lambda is C over F, 3 times 10 to the 8, divided by 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 9, because it's giga. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.091 meters. If I wanted to be flash, then I could say, no, I could say 9.1 centimeters, but I don't show off, so there. 